Alright, so I made this train station. It's, uh, I, th I find it v uh, very easy to use. It's extremely space efficient, and uh, I'll show you how it works. It's pretty simple. So, anyways, you select the destination by pulling, pushing the lever up, and uh, it doesn't matter. You can leave it on. It doesn't change where the whether the cart goes or stays. But um, after you have one of these selected, then you just jump in the cart, and then it takes off. So, um, I have this. This uh, goes. This is a setup. This one works. I didn't uh, make a route for these, so they just kind of lead you into a wall. But I have I found the Infinity Cave. It's very big. In case you didn't already figure that out. But uh, I have two different areas that I can go to. So basically, how it works. Uh, this cart is sitting on a stone plate. So when you jump in it, then your weight will trigger the the plate, which will you can see the wiring coming out of the ground over there. That will um, turn this track that I'm pointing at right now, it'll basically redirect this cart in the front, it'll redirect it and boost this cart. In case you don't know how cart boosters work, uh, I'll put a link on this video, you can click the annotation. Um, so I'll just demonstrate, oops, yeah, if you if you kick it, then it doesn't uh, work, so I have to set it up again, alright. So, then it's redirected and it takes me. Oh, and since I didn't select a route, it'll just uh, reset the cart back to the normal, the main room. So you jump out. That's how it works. Basically, here I'll go inside this room and kind of show you a little bit closer. All right. So these carts are boosting each other. Um, and the reason I don't just have a dead end on that block over there, just a flat stop because uh, when this cart in the front is redirected to boost this cart then um, it won't be coming back from the right side, it'll be coming in from the left side so um, let me just demonstrate, I'll just build a quick switch instead of this wire um, so watch what happens when I give this power, it redirects and then this rolls back to be grabbed by that again You know. So I had to kind of mess with that and I finally got it to work. So then it works both ways. So that's how that works. So, and that will boost it. Oh, where's my, oh, yeah, here it comes. I guess I, all right. So what happens if you select, I'll select four. So you jump in, you know, and it drags you and it will sort, depending on which lever you uh, chose, it'll lead you to a different route and I'll show you how that works too. But basically at the end of each route I set up this other uh, boosting system. It's kind of the same concept. So there's a stone plate underneath this cart. So when you jump in, same thing, the wiring comes around right there, that red goes like, I'll show you. The wiring comes from underground and leads up this way and will turn this turn block, it'll turn this uh, turn piece right here to that and it'll, I'll show you and I'll be dragged back so yep so that's what I have at the end of every route I just have a thing and I, and I use the same track that I went out on I use the same tra piece of track to come back so it's very efficient in that way dang it alright and if you jump out too late then it screws it up you have to jump out before it parks um let me see the way the sorting room works um, so right now no destination is selected, so w when the cart comes in, it goes on this S-curve, and it continues down. As soon, uh, as soon as one of these is turned on, then it'll pick that turn. It's like, if you know any programming, it's like uh, if-else statements. So let's turn on the first one. You can see this light comes on, and that turns this block. Instead of turning left, it t directs it that way. So, um, you know, higher numbers have priority no matter what. If more than one are turned on, then it'll just pick the first one and ignore the rest of these. Um, the wiring for that is, it goes right over the track. Let me see if I can jump up here. Alright, so the lever, the levers are like right on the opposite side of the wall. The, the wiring comes over the track and around this way. And these are what move the tracks. 
Um, yeah, and if no destination selected, you know, it goes back underground and it just meets up with the returning track. And this, it'll come up this way and uh, merge together. And um, when, so imagine I had number five turned on. The cart will go out this direction and then, you know, it comes back from the same direction. So it uses the same track and since that was turned on, it will redirect going back the opposite direction. No matter which route is coming from, it'll just head backwards on the S, the S track. It'll come back this way and, re, and uh, merge back into this. And I guess that's it. It's kind of complicated, but it's re it works really well. So I'll just do one route to show you the full route. So five, it goes up and it goes down. This is a huge cave that I found. And I have a boosting system at the bottom. See, they're already running. This is on a stone plate. And the wiring, oh, I just kicked it. That sucks. Anyways, the wiring comes over here and turns this track, which will boost that one. So I just push this card off the track. I need to pick it up again and set it back on. All right. And pushes you back up. So it's basically, uh, you can add as many different routes as you want, and it doesn't take a lot of track pieces because you're using the same pieces over and over again for a lot of different areas. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask me, post a comment. All right, see you guys later.